Welcome back everyone to another Coach Blaker video. We're gonna be playing Soraka Support. Why are we playing Soraka Support out of the blue? That's just weird, Coach. I don't even, what, what's going on? I've been having a lot of enchanters lately, whether it be high elo or low elo, that just do not play lane like they're supposed to. They either play too far back, they don't really know when to trade, they don't really know where to ward, how to ward, when to ward. They don't really understand the concept of playing an enchanter. When you're playing a mage support, it's easy. When you're playing a, a hook support, it's easy. It's harder playing an enchanter support. They tend to be very passive. They tend to be very um, reactionary. They tend to just kind of follow the pack. That's not really what you want to do when you guys are playing enchanters. Because if you guys play like that, you're going to find it very, very hard to climb. So with this video, I'm going to hopefully be able to tell you information about when to trade, how to trade, how to play the lane, where, you know, positioning things, warding things, everything you need to know about being an enchanter support. This isn't a Soraka guide. I'm just playing Soraka because I've been having a lot of Soraka players play horribly. So, and nothing against Soraka means I'm just saying people that play a champ just, they just, they need to stick to Lulu or something. Um, if concepts like these are something that you are having a hard time applying to your game, make sure you book a session at coachblaker.com. It, it, it helps prevent having to play hundreds and hundreds of games to either A, figure it out after those games, or B, you don't figure it out and then you get coaching anyway, and it's like, well, you could have just saved yourself all that time by just doing it from the get-go. Um, and then, of course, if you guys are interested in my boot camp, the boot camp will be starting next month. Make sure you go to my Patreon uh, slash the coach approach if you guys are interested in that. Both links are down below. So, coaching, coachbooker.com, bootcamp, patreon.com. Kaisa, Soraka, into Tristana and Bran. Now, Tristana and Bran is more of a kill lane. If they can land that stun on you, they're going to really be looking to just hop onto you. We have Soraka and Kaisa, a way more passive lane. Mid lane is Aurelian Soul and Tavares. I don't think I've ever seen that matchup before, but I'm going to say uh, Soul might win. I actually do not know how this goes, so this will be interesting. Um, and then we have Echo into Trundle. Echo's more of a passive jungler. Trundle's more of an aggressive jungler. And then we have Camille into Set. Not really a lane that we care about because that is not really going to impact us unless they teleport. And we see Set has no teleport, so that shouldn't even be a problem. So... After you figure out kind of just everybody's matchups, what you want to think about is how your ADC wants to play. As we established, Kaisa's more passive. All she really wants to do is get her items. Tristana, on the other hand, is more, I want to get kills. I'm not really looking to farm. I'm looking to get kills. Now, playing through that, we're going to go ahead and get the Spell Thieves. Now, playing through that, we that helps us understand how we want to play. Well, my ADC doesn't really like to be aggressive. They don't really like to get kills. So, I don't have to worry too much about that. On the offhand, the other one does. So how can we play? We have to ask ourselves, how can we play into a lane that wants to kill our AD carry, but our AD carry doesn't really want to trade or kill, with, kill them back? I mean, we can get kills if they mess up, don't get me wrong. But, for the most part, if she decides to just basically AFK farm, what are we going to do? The goal is to not make it seem like a 1v2. The goal is to basically make it so that she can farm without being harassed too much. You want the harass to be on you rather than both of you guys, okay? If that makes sense. Or I won't say on both of you guys, but on her. A lot of the times the supports tend to stay away from the hooks. They tend to stay away from the mages. And it's fine because if they are aiming you, that's very good because your ADC can still farm. It's not about, oh, let me not get hurt. It's about... How can I make it so my ADC can do what they want to do? At the end of the day, when you're playing support, that is your goal. It is, what can I do to make sure that my ADC is set up for success? What can I do to make sure that my ADC is going to be able to do what they want to do? Oh, easy way right here. She just wants to get her farm. Let me relieve that pressure. That's all I'm going to do. That's all I'm going to do, baby. That's it. That's all. All right, let's get into it. Let's get into it. Be a little spicy. Okay. I have to be careful because they could probably be in this bush. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Yo, Kaisa's smart. Okay. Got a little smarty pants AD carry. We're going to stand away from here diagonally because if you're standing diagonal from the mage, it's a harder time for them to hit you. Same thing for the AD carry if you guys are playing ADC. 
we also don't want to stand together. We don't want to stand together, because if we stand together, a champion like Bran can hit both of us at one time. And that's just not something that we want. Mm, I messed up my cue. I moved my mouse because, uh... I was thinking about something, and I moved my mouse. Oh, you're dead. You're dead, buddy boy. Can we say brand players? Brand players. Griefers. Um, I put my E instead of my W because I wanted him to not be able to cast his abilities. When you're choosing W or E second, at least with Soraka, I'll just say when you're choosing any ability second for any champion that you're playing, think about the situation. Don't just cue the second ability just because you usually do it. I don't know if we're looking to push or not, but I need to recall Boo. We're gonna help her shove here. This is also something I've noticed a lot of players don't really do properly, is they tend to shove at like really inopportune times. Like I said before, you know, if that's a concept that you're having issues with, book a session, um, ask in my Discord, you know, you got options. You got options, you got options. I actually wanted to reset, but holy cro holy moly, Soraka does no damage. Holy moly donut shot. Again, we stand away. That's fine, I got you. Hello, up and over, what you doing? What you doing? Get back, you don't know me like that. Get back, get back, you don't know me like that. Let me heal you real quick, girl, uh-oh. Whoa. Again, you know, don't be afraid. Be in these be in these guys' faces, man. You know? You don't need to play back. Get your little get your little mechanic your, your, your mechanical reps in. Do some sidestepping, do some juking. I gotta be careful because she's gonna jump on me. Bet, but I'll bait it though. You ain't ready. Well blam! Where are you at with yours? Oh, she had flashed you. Well I think Oh, that's free. Bam! I say worth. Honestly, I didn't know she had flash. Look, let me be real. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't know she had flash. Look, stuff happens. Don't, don't question me. Y'all didn't know she had flash either. Oh, what y'all looking at me for? Okay, so that was actually pretty big. I set up a play just like that, and what did I tell you? We're not really a kill lane, but because you're proactive, because you know what you're doing as an enchanter, you can make some stuff happen. That's all you gotta think about. Just whenever you guys are playing, just think, just do that with your hands and it should help you out. <laughs> what am I talking about? Why do you guys watch my content? Um, okay. So again, you know, we wanna relieve that pressure. We don't want that mage to just smack our support or our AD carry and then I wanna heal. No, 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 no. That's being reactionary. It's being, uh, mm, I think I just ruined her wave. Oh wait, Pog? Oh, Pog? Okay, I fixed it. Um, we want we want to make sure that we are proactive. I'm gonna demonstrate what I usually see. So I usually see supports do this. You see that either makes them walk back too, which is not what you want, or what that does is that makes it so that they get 1v2 because the ADC has to walk up to the wave to see us. You as a support don't. So you're basically saying, hey, well, I'm forcing this person to be in a situation where, let's go. I'm forcing this player to be in a situation where they have to get smacked and they have to 1v2. And that's not what you wanna do. We have to be careful, I'm pretty sure he's in this bush. Oh, what's up, baby? Oh, I should probably be healing here. Jukes? Where are, you, where are you at with yours, Bran? We're just gonna help her shove here. When he walks up, I'm just gonna silence. So that he can't do his inability. We're gonna mess him up, check the place. Look, look, look. Oh. Okay, he's on drag. You need to recall, buddy. She, it's fine. <laughs> he doesn't need you. There's nobody stopping him. It's all right. It's okay. Please don't stop me, please don't stop me, please don't stop me. You, you little butt muncher. You little booty. You little booty. 
Booty tootie. Can I get that fruit though? What that fruit do? Well, it looks like I can't recall because Tristana wants to be a butthole. And I'm used to that. No, I'm used to that. It's free. It's free.com. It's free.com. Look, look, look. We gonna walk up? Who? Oh, silenced. Silence, boy. Get up with the jukes. Where you at with yours? <laughs> Boo. I'm just saying. Proactivity. Whether or not we lose, it's about being consistent. If you're consistently proactive, you consistently carry games. But you're not doing nothing. You're not carrying. It's not about the damage. It's not about the KDA, even though I'm clapping some cheeks. If I got to say so myself, it's about you actually playing properly. Can I get an amen? Thank you. Uh, okay, now that I got my six, I need to pay attention to the things happening on the map. This is super grief, by the way. Like, this is grief.com. Like, if we die, it's grief. Like, well, I'll die, not her. Rampage. Let's go. All right, because I'm doing so well, well, pat on my back, I'm going to get a dark seal. Usually when I do well on champions that do have a little bit of an AP scaling, I'll grab a dark seal. That way I'm capable of, uh, you know, getting that bonus AP while also doing my thing. We're going to get movement speed boots here, I think. Actually, no, we're going to get um, these... Coach, why did you go Bengal Glass Mirror first? Um, it was a really big power spike. It was the ability to buy it. Really, when you see people buy big purchases like this, it's because they can. You really wouldn't start off normally with that. You'd probably buy in a different order. But because I had enough um, gold for it, I just instantly bought it out, right? At least I'm pretty sure that's what happened. I'm sorry, I'm blinded by all this A kicking that I'm doing. Where she go? What you looking at? Better. Hello? Better check yourself for you wreck yourself, punk. You better check yourself for you wreck yourself. Why didn't you ignite? Well, I didn't think she wasn't going to kill him. To be honest, I should have just ignited. She got a little bit too bossy. She got a little bit too bossy. She went a little bit too Nicki Minaj. But you had R. I think she was dead anyway. To be like a thousand percent real with y'all, I think she was dead, regardless. I wasn't paying attention. It looked like she was dead anyway. Let's go ahead and roam. See what's going on. You want to go roam where there's not really much you can do in lane. Um, right now, she's not even in lane. The wave's pushing. We're going to go see if we can make some stuff happen. Because if we just win bottom, but we don't win anywhere else, we just straight up lose. I really am so please tell me you don't see me. Okay, good. Maybe he did see me. What? What's going on? This guy's just like chilling. No? What? This is weird. Where did he come from? Alright, top lane's losing. That's what I love to see. Mm. Oh boy. That was grief. I didn't think that she was just gonna get clapped like that. Fed mighty carry. She still gets handled. Mm -hmm. Jesus, dude. Y'all are some griefers. I'm about to just follow Chundle. I'm about to just follow him. Shoot. I don't know what's going on. That was a lot of damage. Uh, Movement speed. I think, yeah. Because Trundle's a champion that likes to run. So we're going to go ahead and buy the uh, Shirelius Battle Song. Champions that like to run. Champions that need to catch up. Udyr, Volibear, Darius, Garen. Um, even ADCs like Draven and stuff. Like champs that need that movement speed. Buying Shirelius is better. Let's see. Oh, I thought he was gonna hit that. Let me OP. What you looking at? Who? Where you at with yours? Jukes, what's up? What's up? 
What? I ain't scared of you. Why did she heal? Golly. My sir, my Kaisa is. You better. <laughs> Why? Let me get Jinx on you. Knock them teeth out. What is our Camille doing down here, by the way? Hands up! Hands up! Mm, I'm gonna tank it. Oh, or not. Dude, what am I watching? Holy moly! Holy moly, bro! What am I watching? What was that? I really don't want to be here for this. Please tell me you have smite. We didn't even have smite. What are we doing? What are we doing dragons for? Oh my god. Oh my god. Jukes? Where you at with yours, bro? You want some, Brent? How many times have teachers lesson? Oh man! Balanced? Miss everything? Press R? That's how my champ works. Love it. Love it. I shouldn't have done that though. I knew better. But he was all up in my grill. But yeah, I don't I don't really know what that was. Also, I gave Kaisa such a big lead for her to just toss that out. It's actually insane. All right, so when you guys die or recall, and I haven't been doing this, but I should have. When you guys die or recall, what you want to do is you want to walk down the middle of the lane. This allows you to be able to make a play towards top, mid, or bottom at a moment's notice. Also, then once you're walking down towards bot lane, this is your chance to sweep. This is your chance to board, um, you know, do little stuff like that. See? That way when you get bot, you don't go up and try to do it. You're doing it as you go. Mr. Trundle. Mr. Trundeasy. I'm Brand. I miss everything and I get kills because I'm such a stupid champ. Get dog, bro. Mm. Hello, why am I being pinged? She's dead again, by the way, chat. I keep saying chat, and it's not even chat. Uh, what's the next item we're gonna get? I'm kind of tempted, no lie, like Drake. I'm kind of tempted to get the. Uh, I can get this. The HP will be nice. Um, oh, you don't even get HP anymore. I'm griefing. <laughs> Not the HP. Uh, the magic resist. That's what I meant to say. The magic resist will be nice against the echo and the brand. But also the actual... Um, the actual spell should be really good against echo. Uh, a really soul brand. Just like that. I literally fed both of you guys. I fed jungle. I fed my AD carry. What is happening? Why are these guys so booty? Hmm? What am I missing here? Why is gold full of all these rough scallions? All these rough scallions. Get that ward down, that vision. We know that there's nobody right here, so we're okay. We're just gonna go ahead and smack that, see what's up. Can we steal it though? No, we can't. Okay, guy's still in camps because he's mad that uh, he sucks. And then he's pinging him MIA because he is taking his camps. This is 
is supposed to be educational. I'm sorry, but like the stuff that I'm seeing right now just doesn't make any sense. Again, try to be proactive. I don't know if he's here by himself or not. We're going to wait for Chundle to rotate. Are you going to go or... I feel like she, A, should have done it way quicker. B, I shouldn't have gotten so close to him because I was forced to ult when I really didn't want to. I, I mean, I'm the reason why I had to R. The, the thing kept bouncing back and forth between us. If I was just a better player, I tell you, if I was just better. But again, being proactive is what, that's the key to being a good enchanter support, being pro active say with me now pro active okay one more time proactive there we go i'm gonna josh is gonna be beaten to your head i did not mean to click that oh, yeah. that's gonna be beaten into your head being proactive again being proactive as a, as a mage and being proactive as a uh, hook champion or alistair as a tank just doesn't really mean much because it's very easy to do but being proactive with the enchanter why would you not run towards me, you fool? You fool. But yeah, being proactive, uh... What is happening? Okay, let's just get middle. We're not, we're not stopping the, the dragon, my man. Yeah, my team's boomed. My team is some boomers, bros. Again, proactive. We jet, we, we jet up. Would you like that? Look, look. Our team sucks. Mid's in ten, top's in ten. Fed my ADC, but she fed her stuff back. Fed my jungler, but he fed his stuff back. Actually, did I feed him? I don't really think so. But that's okay. Because I should have been warding that whole entire time, by the way. But that's okay. Because um, we're going to win this game. Mark my words. And even if we lose this game, I won this game because I was able to help teach you guys how to be proactive as an enchanter. Wow. Why am I getting attacked? What did I do? Dude, if you don't go on this dude, you're actually out of your whiskers, bro. Thank you. Go on him too. What is happening? What are you guys doing? Oh, thank God I didn't steal that. Can we get this? Yo, 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 Baron. Yo, 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 yo. Team, Baron. Baron. Move yo. What are y'all farming for? Ba Dude, the Baron. Oh my God. In what world do we not get that Baron? In what world do we just not get that Baron then? Grum shift. Shut up. I'm so tired of you, Echo. He literally has played almost every game. Get on my nerves. My last. My last, my first, my middle, just all of them. On my nerves. You know champions get on your nerves when they have quotes. Every champ that ever gets on anybody's nerves has quotes when they do abilities. They move around. Like, they just have quotes. Whenever Echo does his E, look out! I'm going to sell this because I really want this over that pink ward. I don't condone it. I recommend having vision over that, but... um. I think personally, for me, having the AP is a little bit better for us. Um, but yeah, him with this, look out. Man, that champ's so broken. What's my vision score looking like? It's bad. What's my KDA looking like though? Exactly. Would you guys rather have a support that had good vision score or a good KDA, I think? Pick wisely. Um, I think this guy's going to be really, really hard to kill and take a very, very long time to do so. Our trundle shouldn't really be that down there either because of Baron. Camille needs to match. Hopefully these pings convey the point, but I don't think it will. Because I think they're both. But maybe she will. I think it's still winnable. Look, we just gotta focus. Remember, what, what what did I say before? What did I say before, class? Proactive. 
proactivity. So that's what we have to think about. What can we do to further this game right now? What's happening bottom? Okay, well, he's getting chased. We could decide to rotate. If we rotate, though, what's going to happen? We're going to lose that Baron. What do we do? Virus is overextended. We let him overextend because he's being an idiot. We'll ping him back. If he dies, he dies. What did he think was going to happen? He's going to get presents from Santa Claus? I mean, I don't know. I don't understand what he thought was going to happen, but it didn't happen. I don't think it happened the way that he wanted it to happen. Oh, show. Why is my trend easy? Bot side easy. But we're not stopping that, so... I said we're, we're not stopping that. Did he get away? We didn't even catch the guy? Man. Going for a ride! Going for a ride! Going for a ride! Uh-oh. What was... We have to flash out. Balanced. Imagine! We play together. Hmm? Imagine! We play together. Imagine our virus doesn't die there. Imagine that our team stops farming bot side uh, for top and jungle. Just imagine we played in perfect harmony. Imagine we sang Kumbaya. This game would be a thousand times easier. But nope. I might have to type to them. I generally don't like to type, but I think with support, you may have to type a little bit more because you don't really get much accomplished if you don't. But we'll see. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. I don't really like typing to players, period. This guy is just really boomed. We have to just think. We just have to give Dragon up. Mm. No, no, no. No, no, no. We don't get it. Our whole entire team is not even there. It's alright, but Okay. Try and kill the entire team. Because you over here wanting drags. Oh, he dies anyway. He got clapped anyway. Can we kill this guy? It's gonna take too long. Can we defend the bot tower though? Bruh, what is happening? Uh, did you just realize that you got... Oh no. I had R2. I knew better. I could have just ulted. Don't, don't you like how he's focused on me though? With his 260 self booming, but he, he's focused on me. Sprock, he could have ulted. I love that. I love that. I love how we focus on other people well before we focus on ourselves. It's amazing. But yeah, I could have ulted that. I thought about it, but I really didn't want to waste it. But it would have saved me if I did. But she wouldn't have gotten the kill. Um, I think. What to buy next? We could go with a... Ooh, okay, Kaisa, I see with the moves. Kaisa over here moving like Jagger. This game is rough because we don't really have much wave clear. And the wave clear that we do have are like in side lanes. So like we, we like Camille has no wave clear, period. Did she just buy them all? Bruh, what? Why didn't she just buy stairs cage? What is happening to the world of League of Legends nowadays? Look at these builds. I think every game is just a strange build. Um, anyway, enough about her. What I was saying was that her wave clear is irrelevant because she doesn't have TMA, right? Trono has Titanic Hydra, but it, it, that's his best wave clear as, he's, as he has. Kaisa's wave clear is pretty insignificant if she doesn't land Q. And then Varus's wave clear is pretty insignificant as well. Like, compared to their wave clear, they could just one-bang a wave. We have to, like, hit it a few times 
before we can realistically do anything. And that's going to be our downfall, I think, if we don't play together, is the fact that even if we do get things done and we win a fight, we still can't push because we don't have that wave clear. I thought she could have waited a little bit. And the slam! And the slam! I'm sorry that you guys have to hear me talk about this. Holy, I'm fast. Get lapped, boy! Get silenced! Thousand gold? Super worth. What happened mid? We lost mid to who? Tristana? And Brand? Or was it already out? No, we just lost it. Or is it coming back? No, we just lost it. Talk. Look, look, look. We coming back. We don't talk anymore. We don't talk anymore. I don't know why that, that popped up in my head. Saying we coming back, but we coming back. Remember, what do we have to be? Proactive. I'm just beat, look. Beat it into that head. Proactive, 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 proactive. We gotta make some stuff happen if we wanna win our games. It's just not enough to be the healing and shielding person. That's not enough to carry you. You have to be proactive. People really get on Yumi about uh, being that healing and shielding, like doing nothing. But no matter what support you are, if you do nothing, you lose games. Which is why I tell Yumi players when I coach them to be proactive. Good flash. How? What is that slow riot? What? Yeah, even when I coach Yumi players, it's the same thing. I tell them the same thing. Be proactive. And they always question me because they're like, how do I be proactive if I can't do anything by myself? And then I show them. And they're like, oh. But this is more centered towards, like I said, the Janas, the Namis, the Lulus, those types. Go for it, bro. You have to make sure that we are positioning well. Whoa. Oof, she with the heck out of that E. Well, looks like the booming lost us this game. But you know what? It doesn't matter. Why? Because we were doing what? Being proactive. And that's what I was saying. We would have actually won this game if they weren't booming so hard. Our, our top lane and our mid lane boomed so hard this game is not even a joke. But I hope you guys still kind of understand where I'm coming from. It's about being proactive. And even like I said during the middle of the game, I said whether or not we win or lose, it's about being proactive. It's about being consistent. If you can consistently be proactive, you'll win more games, period. So, again, I hope that this... Uh, hope that this helped you. I'm going to give it to... I'm going to give it to Kaisa. The other three were just like... They were just, man. They were just some boomers. They were just some bro, some boom bammers, bro. They were some boom bammer lammers. But, um... Again, that is the name of the game being proactive making sure that you're consistently proactive you'll win more games my kaisa was actually able to get fed in a lane that we should never be fed in my chundable was able to get ahead as well and also we were able to win team fights that we weren't be supposed to be able to win and that doesn't have to do with anything with mechanics it has to do with just being proactive what can i realistically do to help my team what can i do to help you get your cs what can i do to help you uh get your kills what can i do to help the team see more in terms of vision what can i do to make sure that we can get this dragon what can i do to make sure that we can get this rift what can i do to make sure that we get this tower like if you can constantly ask yourself that as a support what can i do to do this you'll realize how much more proactive you'll be it's not about walking around just healing everybody and shielding everybody. You're going to find yourself in a rut. You're going to play hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of games of support, and you're not going to climb anywhere because what you're doing, essentially, is just playing like the elo. If I play like a gold player and all I do is walk around healing players, I'm going to stay gold. If I'm playing support in silver and all I'm doing is walk around shielding and healing, I'm playing like a silver. I'm going to stay stuck in silver. 
you have to be proactive. You have to play like the rank above you. You have to consistently perform well, and you'll start climbing. Again, I'm pretty sure we could have won this game if all three of my uh, roles didn't boom. My top, my jungle, and my uh, mid. Also, I probably could have typed to them, but I think my mid and my top were a little bit boom to the point they wouldn't listen. At least the mid. But... Again, like I said, I'm not looking for the perfect game. I'm looking to teach you guys the concepts. Whether or not I win or lose is irrelevant. I want to teach you guys what to do. So I hope this helped you guys. If you guys are, again, interested in coaching, I highly recommend checking out my site, coachblocker.com. If any of these concepts are, are your, or just you're having a hard time applying them, or you're just feeling lost in your ELO, you're not sure what to do, and you really want to get out of your rut, book a session. Um, I have different options, and I'm pretty sure there's one that's going to match you. All you have to do is want to get better. And there you go. And if you're interested in my boot camp, patreon.com slash the coach approach. Of course, you guys know this. Patreon.com slash coach approach. Uh, but thank you guys for watching. I hope you I hope you enjoyed it. I appreciate you watching it. And, you know, I really had a good time making it. Peace, peace. Late, late. Have a good rest of your day. And thank you guys for doing what? Approaching this like a coach.